All right, people, we're gonna install my cavity closers today. I thought I'd show you quickly how to do it. This is what we're using, some rigid plastic insulated there. This is universal, it comes from Screwfix, but you can get them anywhere. You can get varying widths as well. This particular one is for 100 mil cavity. This is actually 95 mil from here to here, but if you've got a less of a cavity, you can cut it down to at least 50 mil and you just cut it with a blade and then snap that bit off. My particular cavities vary anywhere between 100 mil and 115 mil. Don't ask me why, I'm not the bricklayer. In fact, I don't have a trader, just have a go. But what you wanna do, you see just here, basically your snots, your cavity closer won't get in there, so you need to knock them off. It depends how conscientious you are a bricklayer was, but one one didn't overly care about these type of things. I previously leveled up my seals as well. As per the manufacturer's recommendations, we're gonna actually gonna do the sides first and then we'll do the horizontal afterwards. We're going full height plus five mil. You can cut it easy with a handsaw. I've got 500 million at least to do tomorrow, so I'll get the chop saw out. We've got a full length. I've got my tin slips. I'm just going to nip off the bottom five mil. That. Do a dry fit first, just to make sure you've got everything. It's going to sit nice and flat. I've already trimmed this a little bit more at the bottom. So that's where it sails down into the bottom cavity. I've notched that. And then this one will sit up against that. So if you do get any water ingress, it would be more likely to go down into the cavity than across your windowsill. That is supposed to be a friction fit. And I'm sure a lot of builders will probably just leave it at that, but really you've got two ways of fixing it. You've got clout nails and you've got adhesive. I like to use both. I'll show you that in a minute. Now this bit here with that bit, it isn't as wide as this bit over here. So this is the wider bit and I'm gonna put that on the inside wall. This is a hybrid adhesive sealant. I'm just going to whack a bead on either side. Just stick it in place. Now the reason why I like to put the wider part on this back edge is because that's where I will put my clout nails. You see your out skin is normally made of either brick or this, which is like a medium density block. This, I, I doubt it but that's a high density you might have something like that this is uh, the aerated block and that's normally the inner skin now clout nails they won't go in brick they will go in this they can go in this but they won't stay tight and they won't go in that so that's the reason why you always put the clout nails on the inside and you can use just the clout nails on their own or you do the adhesive as well these are 20 mil galvanized clout nails tight use for felt and roofing. I'm just gonna go one on the bottom, in the middle, and at the top. So we'll do the other side now, and then I will lay the bottom in. The bottom, I would just use adhesive, no clout nails. Here's what I've done earlier, lovely. If you're interested in myself build then make sure you subscribed thanks for watching i'll see you later